Hi there, I'm Randall Hoyt, the inventor of Roadhog, and I'm here to teach you how to play it. Roadhog's the game of highway madness. It's about getting where you need to go and getting there first. It's about weaving in and out of traffic, cutting people off, and doing things on the road you know you shouldn't do, but have always wanted to. It takes about 45 minutes to play for two to five players. The box says 12 and up, but younger players love it. It's great for families, friendly gatherings, and hobby gamers. Let's take a look inside. You get the rules of the road, 40 wooden cars and trucks, two action-packed dice, 10 beautiful road tiles, and 60 colorful cards that invoke the thrill of the highway. Let's talk about the roads. You get the enter and exit tiles, three straight tiles, three curved tiles, the toll booth, and road work. The road tiles are backed with rubber, so they don't slip around in heavy traffic. The basic game uses seven road tiles. Start with the enter tile, put the toll booth in the middle, and the exit at the end. There are dozens of configurations to keep every game fresh. Let's bring on the traffic. The road tiles have icons on them, indicating the number of cars and trucks required. Place each vehicle in its own lane and space them so they are not side by side. Evenly distribute the traffic down the highway. Then put the colored player cars on enter. And now you have a highway full of traffic. During your turn, you can move both your car and the white cars and trucks. Let's roll the dice. The movement die indicates the initial number of spaces you can move. Normal movement is left, right, forward, and back, but not diagonally. Use the traffic die to move the white cars and trucks. Traffic can move left, right, forward, and back, and sometimes diagonally. The single traffic icon lets you move one traffic car one space. The double traffic icon has three functions. One, you can move two cars one space each. Two, move one car two spaces. And three, move one truck one space. Trucks take up two spaces and cost two to move. The diagonal traffic icon lets you move one traffic car forward diagonally. The add or subtract icon allows you to add one traffic car to the road or take one traffic car off. This doesn't apply to trucks, which can only be removed by cards. The curve tiles are a little different. There's two spaces on the inside and five on the outside. Vehicles can move between connected spaces. This allows for sliding movement through the corner. And then there's the toll booth. Because the toll booth has concrete barriers, you can only move forward. Backing up doesn't work either. You can't add cars directly into the toll zone, but you can remove them with cards and dice. There are four types of cards. The blue driver cards provide player bonuses. For example, the card weave lets you move diagonally. The green traffic cards control the white cars and trucks in interesting ways. Logjam lets you move three traffic cars. The red aggression cards are for messing with other players. Steal a card from someone with a hand gesture. The yellow reaction cards cancel card actions. Use them to stop any card at any time. At the beginning of the game, deal three cards to each player. During your turn, you may play as many cards as you like. Draw back up to three cards when you pass the dice. So here's how the game works. On your turn, you use cards and dice in any order to do what you need to do. Yellow rolls the dice and gets a four and the double traffic icon. Yellow moves one space forward and plays cut off to switch places with red. <coughs> red plays a reaction card buzzkill, so it doesn't happen. Yellow changes the plan uses the first move of the traffic die to slide a car left and plays weave to move diagonally. Yellow goes two spaces, moves a car with the last move of the traffic die, and goes one more space. Yellow then plays a third card, Rock and Song, for an additional move and an extra card. Yellow draws Breaker 1-9 and adds a truck to the road, blocking in red and blue. Nicely played. The game ends with the first player to exit the highway. Move cars and trucks forward off the exit tile to open your path to victory. So that's Roadhog. And if you like the game, you should check out the movie. I was a subject of a documentary about my odyssey to publish Roadhog. Go to tabletopmovie.com, watch the trailer, get the film. To get Roadhog, buy local. Visit your friendly neighborhood game store. Or go to funagaingames.com. Great site. Lots of games. Or get it wherever. What are you waiting for? Just get it. And please check out the Facebook page, Roadhog Game. There's pictures, posts, video clips, everything you wanted to know about Roadhog, but were afraid to ask. Roadhog is published by the fine folks at Ultra Pro Entertainment and Jolly Roger Games.